rise and shine, or for my mostly Western audience, uh, good evening. So today I want to talk about never marry or date a bar girl or any type of SEX worker in the Philippines. Or anywhere in the world for that matter. Got my matcha and I'm ready to tackle this subject for those of you that have watched other vloggers and got a skewed perception of reality. Let me set the record straight. Who will be the first? Will it be Jonathan Hamzi? Will it be Jordan Melby Vlogs? Who shall it be now? Who shall it be now? Hey, no tango dinero, what's up? Anna's life official, okay. It's been a long time, Anna. Hope everything's going good with your channel. Very nice, five people, okay. A star is born, look at that. Hey, Serene, what's up, brother? Serene always coming in almost first nowadays. Look at that. Let's wait for a few more people to come in here and then I'll talk about this. I think some vloggers have steered you wrong. 13 people, wow. Massive celebrity, look at that. One like, let's get the likes up, guys. 5,000 subs, look at that, almost. That's good, yeah, you were at like 4.6, I saw my size, that's pretty good growth. Yeah, I just hit 42.7, so I'm pretty blessed, but uh, that's good, that's good. You have a unique niche of the farming and stuff. But, okay, so a lot of vloggers, I won't name any names, but they talk about dating when they're not dating. They're paying for play, but they're disguising it as dating when they describe it to you guys, which I think is adorable that they're actually getting views and, and stuff like that. Um, if you're paying a woman, you're not in a relationship, you're doing a transaction. I love how people to act, try to act like part of their budget is for their dating with their bar girls and stuff. That's a transaction. That's not a date, my friend. Uh, if a girl charges you at the end of the date, you didn't go on a date, just, just so you know. <laughs> and the... Uh, false reality that a bar girl makes a good wife is just a complete fraud. Hey, Jester, what's up, bro? Talked to Jester on the phone yesterday for about 35 minutes. But yeah, um, so uh, there's vloggers. I don't want to say any names, but there's vloggers that talk about dating, uh, just for Jester, whoever else just came in out of the 17 people. And they describe dating, but they're actually talking about bar finding a girl or finding a girl that works for bar finds and getting her out of the club for that. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you, Jester. I got another one I got to possibly do today with a guy that's in uh, South Africa. So I think he's six hours behind me. And then I still got to do Chris Flemons, but I'm trying to get at least one a day done. But yeah, there's vloggers that will describe dating to you. And they're actually describing hiring a woman for their services. So if a woman charges you a dollar amount at the end of your date on top of the meal and the alcohol or whatever you bought, you did not go on a date. You purchased a woman's services and you're, you're lying to yourself or you're lying to your audience if you're leaving out that part that you gave them even a thousand pesos or whatever. Um, but yeah, but yeah, Sunshine Shoulders, uh, I think said at one time, everyone jokes about how he said that uh, 
bar girls make good wives. I don't know if he stands by that statement or if that was a joke or what, but I'm like, what the heck? I like Sunshine, but that was the one thing a lot of people disagreed with him on. I think he was joking, though, or he'd be sarcastic or something. Only a complete idiot would consider a page. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Serene, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. 27 people in the building, four likes. Yeah, I think he was being sarcastic or joking. He seems like a really smart guy, and I think his girl is a total uh, regular awesome educated lady but i mean if you were serious that's a that's that's insane my brother but yeah so if you pay a woman even 1000 pesos or 500 pesos you did not go on a date for the third time <laughs> but yeah i did a consult with jester yesterday did a consult the day before with philip Got one I got to do today if I can make the time zones make sense with my friend in South Africa. And then I got to do Chris Flemons as well. Uh, I know he's in Philippines, so that should be a little bit easier. But yeah, I'm trying to get at least one a day done, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some of these guys are so cringe. Don't describe to your audience and then leave out the part where you gave them 4,000 pesos for staring at your ugly face. Come on, guys. Be, be a little smarter than that. And these guys are actually getting views. There's multiple vloggers that discuss dating, leaving out the part that it's, it's, it's a transaction. And they get views, like they get the same views as me. Like they'll do like at least 2,000 on every video. And it's like, Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Serene. So maybe they're just selectively leaving it out for their audience and not make themselves sound like a John Trick customer. But I'm here to tell you, that it costs you more than a piece of food or a Starbucks or a bottle of wine or whatever, you didn't go on a date, bro. When you call that girl for your second date, she's gonna ask how much you're paying her. <laughs> but yeah, I think Sunshine was joking, so no shade to him, and his wife seems like a very upstanding citizen, but when he said that, everyone's like, what the hell, I like that guy, but I didn't understand about that, about them being good wives. 5,000, that's what I'm saying, Ripley. If you gotta pay up front for your date, you're not on a date, my brother. <laughs> Sorry. I think that would be an insult to us, girl, after a date, Guyana. Yeah, but what if he hands you 10,000? Just kidding, Anna. I know Anna's a good uh, regular Filipina, but yeah, I mean, it's insulting, right? Uh, if a guy hands you that. But I'm talking about girls that are straight up telling you the price and this and that, and then you're just lying to yourself. There's a lot of the guys that go on a website called Seeking Arrangements in America, and they meet these girls that have no interest in them, and whether they pay per date or whatever, I mean, you got to be realistic. No, I think most aspects, yeah, 1,000%. Of course they do, because they're working. They're working. They're not attracted to you. They probably don't even like foreigners, and they're straight up working. So they tell you, okay, it's 4,000, it's 3,000, it's even 1,000. Even 1,000, you're paying, because 1,000, that's double, that's over double the provincial rate, like in a Barakai. That's almost double the, the Manila rate. So that's still, yeah, they definitely do, Jester. You're so right. Yeah, so I thought about this topic. I should really make a video on this since it'll probably only get like a thousand views or so on the live. But yeah, I just thought about this and how some guys live in this deluded reality and they talk about dates and they, they forget to conveniently leave out the fact that they need a budget for that date. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that do the sugar baby, sugar daddy thing in America. Mainly they go on a website called Seeking Arrangements. How that website is still up and running, I don't know. It's basically like a loophole to uh, SEX work. But um, in the Philippines, even if you think, oh, it's only $18 or something, dude, you paid. You paid, brother. Even a very beautiful woman come and asks to me and ask, comes up to me and asks me what I'm doing. First words out of my mouth is how much? Yeah, so like my buddies used to come to Vegas. I lived in Vegas. And they'd get in late at night or something. They'd get a room at like the Tropicana or something before they d leveled it the other day. And they would go, oh my God, there was this smoking hot girl in high heels. She dropped dead gorgeous and she likes me. She was all over me at the bar. And I go, bro, that girl was a hooker. You did not get, you did not meet a girl. If they are asking peso, might as well get a bar girl. I heard a bar girl at least protected a little bit. Bar has a uh, reputation to protect. Could be. He needed an ambulance as what I hear from now there. Who needed an ambulance? What's up, James SB? I mean, James B. Uh, who needed an ambulance, Anna? Did I miss your prior uh, comment? Four likes, guys. Let's get the likes up. We got 30 people and four likes. Come on, guys. Bright and early with my matcha. I'm ready to rant on this one. Come on, guys.
Hey, Eva, what's up? He needed an ambulance. What am I missing? I'm still half asleep. Who needed an ambulance? Oh, I need an ambulance? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I meet the girl first time. She pays the taxi, takes me to Big B's, buys lunch. I know what she makes a month. That was probably a week's wages she spent. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I've had girls that paid just for transportation to get to and from the Gramercy where I was staying. I was like, holy shit, this girl just dropped a thousand pesos. It was 400 to get to me and then she spent 600 to get home. Someone's asked you, what are hotel rooms like? Yeah, I had some girls. I came, I moved back to BGC uh, and I was not with my girl yet. And there were these two smoking hot girls like looking back at me and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm back. I got it, guys. I'm back. I'm the hot foreigner and this and that. And then they approached me and they're like, yeah, what are you doing and this and that. And they're like, yeah, we live at Tryon Towers too, but do you want to get a hotel room? And I'm like, why the fuck would we get a hotel room? And then they're like, oh yeah, I don't know. We just want to drink and this and that. And I'm like, you're fucking working. You think I have to pay? I'm like, it's free for me, girl. And I walked away. But that was a humbling moment. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. What are the hotel rooms like? I thought I was a hot stud foreigner and I could tell by the way that they're speaking because I've been around so many working girls in Vegas and stuff that they were explaining to me that we could have a threesome if I paid them without saying it. Why in the hell would we need to get a hotel when we were both staying in the same skyscraper and they were totally dressed like hookers but I thought that like they just thought I was good looking because I was walking behind them and they were like waiting for me and smiling. So I thought I was a hot stud and then they basically propositioned me without propositioning me. <laughs> Yeah, they seduced me, but they, they wanted my money. <laughs> that's like the only time that's really happened to me. Even on P. Burgos, girls kind of figured I wasn't paying. <laughs> Maybe it was, yeah, it was definitely was, but for me, I ain't paying, period. I mean, I'll take a girl out to dinner or whatever, but uh, I don't consider that paying. <coughs> that's a bit different. I got to eat anyway. Yeah, they got me. They were seducing me. I thought I was such a hot stud. The one girl's top was like almost falling off and she was very busty. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh man, the king is back in BGT. I thought I was such a hot stud. And then I realized that uh, they were propositioning me. Even though they never said it, I drew that conclusion when they said we can get a hotel room, but we're both staying in the same skyscraper. Why in the fuck would we get a hotel room? <laughs> For what? <laughs> Stay at some dumpy hotel. We were both staying in a really nice skyscraper called the Tryon Tower in BGC. <laughs> oh, yeah, expensive phone, but no money. Yeah, I feel you. I'm a little late. What was the recently released video about BGC older? Yeah, that was a throwback. I had a water damaged iPhone and I found that in the lost files. So I, um, I uploaded that. That was older when I was single, but I thought you guys might enjoy the scenery or enjoy a video because I didn't have anything right now. But that's a members only video, uh, so I guess you're not a member, so you probably you probably already watched it though. Yeah, it was probably obvious that I was single and I was living in Baraka at that time, but I figured why not uh, release it. El Guapo. Dirty people. I'm a little late. Was that recently released video? But yeah, yeah, that was older. That was probably like nine months ago or some shit. Eva in the building. Where's Joan? Where's Todd? Jester's here. Where's everybody at? I got my matcha. Yes, so don't believe the hype if you hear these vloggers talking about budgeting money for dates and stuff. Dates are basically damn near free and a transaction with a fucking bar girl is not a date. Thirty-four people, six likes. Come on, guys. Running a little late, El Guapo. Oy, oy, oy. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of consultations. Did one with Jester. Did one with Philip the day before. Got another one today. Another one tomorrow. Forty-one people. Nice message is held for review i see yeah i see that too el guapo yeah crazy i'm shocked i didn't i never understood why i was the subject of so much attention with my little tiny views and everybody else just had a golden ticket to do whatever they wanted but uh yeah god bless everybody
<laughs> yes, Andy Omar is on the warpath. If it's not Tim K or I don't know. Oh, wait. Holy shit. Now I cannot bag on people about having an expensive phone. I don't, but I understand having one. Yeah, it's all good. Reminds me when I stayed at the Hilton and ladies, I said I can give drinks real cheap and have a good time. You can have fun in the fills if you want. When one turns down a hundred, others say yes. Yeah, absolutely. They all want to see your face. Too much drama there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but uh, definitely crazy. And yeah, I think some of these fucking vloggers are just delusional. The alternate reality that they give you about how you have to pay and bar girls are regular girls. No, they're not. And yeah, I mean, yeah, with most girls, they're going to need money. But not all girls need money if you find a Manila girl and you don't always have to pay and, uh, you know. Bar girls do not make good wives, if that was a serious statement. You should have said, I only afford street food, like, quick, quick. Yeah, peg, peg. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't pay. I, I, I won't pay one penny. I met a gorgeous girl in Barakai at, like, four in the morning in Station 3, and she was, like, all over me. But she wanted me to give her 500 pesos for something that I will not mention. I just, there's, it's just not something I'm willing to do. I wouldn't pay 10 pesos in a transactional sense. I felt sorry for her, but I, I just, I wouldn't pay 10 pesos. I wouldn't pay five pesos. It's free for me, realistically. So when a Filipina says, no, Kuya, I say, God bless you, and turn to one of the 100, mindset is key. Yeah, well, I mean, you've been here before. You've seen that the hype is real, that I wasn't bullshitting you. And you've already had a couple Filipinas that you, quote unquote, kind of dated. Uh, by the way, did you reach out to, uh, what's your name? Well, some of those guys are up there with Toad as far as appearance, so that there's that. Yeah, no, I totally get it. I totally get it. Do what you got to do, uh, you know? Uh, but I just think it's funny when they act like paying for SEX is dating. It's not. I think for me, once money is involved at first date, it's a red flag already. Yeah, I mean, if a guy wants to buy you some Jollibee or buy you some food or, you know, even take you to Barakai or something, that's not paying, in my opinion. I mean, especially if you're out of the friend zone as a guy or a Starbucks or whatever. But if a guy's like, you know, already setting up a bank account for you or something, then, uh, you know, you're kind of, uh, you got a sugar daddy or something just happened. Uh, look, I'm in good shape, mid forties. Uh, look, mid forties, I'm 59. No problem with meeting normal non-working girls. It isn't hard. Yeah, I've never had a problem. I never had a problem. I had those two girls hit me up in BGC, but that was just a funny little five second interaction. But yeah, I don't really get approached that much by those girls. I think those girls kind of leave me alone. When I used to go to strip clubs, uh, the girls would not approach me because I wasn't like a balding, fat, older guy that looked married. Yes, sir, I did. Okay, cool. Exactly, and have you seen Byron Scoot? Yeah, I thought about it, but I don't really need one. I almost bought one, but they wouldn't let me swipe my credit card. So then I started pulling out like 25,000 pesos a day and I was gonna buy one. And then I realized that I have to pay thousands to park it and that I just live in Manila and I can go anywhere in a grab for like 300 pesos or like five bucks. So I said, fuck it. But I've considered it. But, uh, you know, I'd like to get a car instead. But the problem is the traffic with the car. If I move out of Manila, I'll get one. Yep, they will avoid you in the bar. especially. If you, yeah, that's correct. So I've dated girls that were like bartenders at strip clubs or like whatever. And sometimes I'd go in there to see them. Or I've even gone to strip clubs and I just won't get a lap dance or anything and I'll just sit there. Like Spearmint Rhino back in the day in Vegas was kind of more like an after hours club. But the strippers would avoid me like a plague because I had all my hair, I was in really good shape. And uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, Alexander is Jasper's sugar daddy. No, no, a lot of people. Then you'd have to say everybody is. Neanderthal, fucking... Todd, Jester, there's so many people that have contributed to the success of this channel. Fifth C. Alexander's just one of my biggest supporters. Have you ever thought about, yeah, no, nah, I never wanted to do that because you got to come to the live in order to interact with people. If you do the Discord, then people would just bullshit in the Discord and not come in the live. And judging by the 37 viewers, we need all the viewers we can get. It like gives everybody a time to meet at 9 a.m. Manila time. And this is where you can kind of mix it up and you can meet your girlfriend or get a job or hear whatever I'm saying or see wherever I am. In the Discord, everyone would just network in the Discord and we'd have seven people in the live. People have tried to get me to do that a million times. Also, a lot of undesirables hang out in Discords, sadly.
41 people in the building, 10 likes. Wow, what's wrong with this ratio, guys? But yeah, don't believe these other vloggers that talk about fucking this and that. Dude. Discord has just laid off 70% of their workforce. Yeah, Discord is unreliable. Discord doesn't make you money. There we go, El Guapo. The Discord would make me zero dollars and zero cents unless I charged you to be in there. And then you'd have people in there mixing it up and meeting Filipinas and advertising their business and doing everything that they would want to do inside of a live stream. The Discord would make you zero dollars and zero cents. A lot of desir undesirables and bottom feeders and names I won't say hang out in Discords and that would defeat the whole purpose. We'd have five people in the live currently and everybody be in the Discord trying to get a girlfriend or chopping it up with each other. Same with Telegram, yep. PTs on Charleston used to be a shift change hangout for a lot of strip clubs. Yeah, absolutely. I know exactly what you're talking about, Jack Jack. She do seminars via Teams, etc. cetera. Yeah, uh, Legend wants me to do a Zoom call consultation, group consultation with a few guys for like $30 instead of 60 or 90 or whatever, but I haven't done it yet. But yeah, um, the Discord, yeah, is not a money maker. And a lot of people, even with the Facebook, were trying to like brag and carry on a whole life in like Facebook group chats that I created and stuff. And I realized that's not really advantageous for any of us. Seminars via Teams, etc. On first day, should I go 50-50 on a dinner bill? I hear Anna and others say money is bad on the first date. No, not at all. I'll tell you what I do. When I was single, I would meet girls at Starbucks and I would insist on paying for their Starbucks even if they pulled out like a thousand pesos or something. Right then, we're in the friend zone. But I got, I got the extra 180 pesos. It's nothing to me because I'm a rich foreigner, right? Then after that, which I never got friend zoned in the Philippines in my entire life, but say that I did, then it all ends right there, right? But after you go to Starbucks with a girl, you can quickly escalate and see if you're their brother or you're their next hot stud boyfriend. Um, once you've graduated out of the friend zone, even if that's just a kiss or whatever you may desire, then I would take a girl to eat or whatever if I got hungry and I don't, I'm not gonna eat street food or whatever because I'm not her brother, I'm not her friend, she's not, not attracted to me, so there's no reason for me to not go enjoy a plate of food like I would normally and get her some food. But I'll always pay for a Starbucks, I'm willing to risk the $3 and I, I've never experienced it ending there and me becoming a friend, but if it did, no problem. And uh, that's how I handle it. 50-50, you look like a cheap ass weirdo because you have 1,000 times the money that you, the girl that you met. Yes, meet a girl for coffee on the first date. Make sure she looks like her picture. See that she's actually four foot six instead of five foot. Um, see if she qualifies for you, believe it or not. That's actually what it is in the Philippines, realistically. And then after the coffee date, don't be shy. Go in for a kiss if you like her. Ask her if she wants to come to your condo. Take a walk around whatever city you're in. See the vibes. Uh, once you've graduated from the friend zone, there's nothing wrong with paying for 100% of some food. That's what I say. If you, I, if you seek a girl out on a date, be a man and pay. After that, figure things out. Correct. Yeah, I usually am do, doing the one telling them, hey, come to BGC, come to Starbucks, whatever. So I just invited you to have coffee. I've had girls pull out a thousand pesos, 500 pesos many, many times. They say, no, 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 I got this. And this is when I'm totally their friend. I've never touched them, never put my arm around them. Probably didn't even give them a hug, didn't kiss them, but it's always worked out for me. Typhoon, what's up? Oh yeah, they think you're six foot. Yeah, because that's what it says on your Tinder. First date is coffee, got it. Yeah, that's what I would do. I mean, I don't know. Uh, the only girl I ever broke that rule was was with my girlfriend, but it worked out great for me. And I was hungry anyway. Uh, I see there are some condos with coffee shop on the ground floor. That's Yeah, exactly. Park West and BGC. Starbucks on the ground floor. I lived in Korea four years. A lot of go-go type scammers there. Go-go type bars there and a lot of the same scene you see in the bars there in the Philippines. 90% of the girls in Korea bars were Filipinas. Crazy. Hey, what's up? Giga, Ch Giga Chad. Salute. Giga Chad getting approached by all the ladies at the mall. Look at that. The dark green marine. But now, if someone donates to the stream, that doesn't make them my sugar daddy. That's the, actually the only reason why I'm still live streaming, <laughs> to be brutally honest with you, Serene. <laughs> if that wasn't a thing, this, this stream would have ended six months ago. <laughs> Coffee shop sounds good, yeah. You see dudes getting deep with those bar girls. Yeah, they do. Because the bar girls are usually really sexy and they know how to extract money from loser doofuses. So yeah, it's terrible. Giga Chad's back, yes sir. <coughs> oh man, 42 people, 12 likes.
Haven't seen Todd, haven't seen Neanderthal, Ed Wow, JP, Joan. Eva's here though. We got Eva, we got Ogre. Bar girls have game, that's correct. I've seen ugly girls that were ugly to me that work at Spearmint Rhino that'll knock down two, three thousand US dollars a month because they got a mouthpiece. They know how to talk you out of your money. Bar girls are like American strippers. I don't see how guys under, don't understand this. They're stupid. I think that's actually the coolest thing probably where he got his bar girl addiction. I don't know. Hey, President Corey, I'm here just lurking. Sorry, busy tonight. No, don't be sorry. I'm a curry pot at the bars when I go and I just go and have a coat. Yeah, you're a curry pot just in general, I think. <laughs> have a Coke and bail. Well, you're 5'6", so they don't want you anyway. When they're taller than you in their heels, they, they don't want to be looking down at you. <laughs> just breaking balls. Forget about it. Oh, man. President-elect Corey. Jack Jack. A lot of people not members anymore. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This match is wearing off already, guys. Typhoon curry pot. You still curry pot. Exactly. That's why I sit as soon as I arrive. Yeah, I bet. Just when I think I've seen everything, there's always a new game in town. Just can't keep up. Yes, serene self. Yes, sir. 50 people in the building. 15 likes, guys. Come on, sign up. Maybe I need to drop a video on this. This video might actually get a couple views. Jordan Melby Vlogs. Not here today. Uh, no Jonathan Hansi. Man, I think I've seen everything in my job. And boom, it's a new strange and unusual situation. Okay, new kid in town. Yes, guys. Everybody. Ace Batch of Cool is a goofy. Go to Pattaya if you're going to play at the bars. Fields Avenue is dirty and small. Hey, you said it, not me. I'm just reading the comments. Bar girls serve a purpose. I and others understand that if you have money and you want a quick and easy, I think we get it. Some don't do that, but I, yeah, I don't, I don't ever exercise that purpose, but that is true. Speaking of scams, a newer one is the Tape Girls. Never heard of the Tape Girls. Whew. Goodbye, Norma Jean. No, whatever. Knew you at all. I would have liked to have known you, but I was just a key. Candle burned out long before the legend ever did. I would have liked to have known you, but I was just a key. Candle burned out long before. The legend ever did. Goodbye, Norma Jean. Oh, look at that. I start singing and we gain a lot of viewers. Wow. I'm a huge celebrity. Got to do a call in with John Canella soon. I came across that ace, then I came across a woman shooting videos in the same place. Now it's it's a kid. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't really watch him. What I'm saying is don't knock guys who go to Bargo route. They know what they're paying for. It's their money. No, I'm saying don't don't act like that's disguised as a relationship and leave out the fact that you're paying for them when you're like pulling them outside of the bar and dating them. That's not a date. I'm not knocking guys that go to bar girls at all. Most guys do that and they just don't talk about it to me because they know my stance on it. But most guys, I know 30 year old good looking guys that are going the bar girl route that just try not to mention it to me because they know I will say something. But um, no, dude, I'm a rare guy that like was in Vegas and friends with a lot of these girls. So I just can't do it. <laughs> Have you ever thought about selling an ebook or an online course? Uh, I probably should, but no, I haven't, I haven't really. When you go to a bar, girl sing to you, all of me loves all of you. Of course, including my money. Yeah, exactly. He loves all of your bank account, right, Eva? Yeah, no, I should, though. I should put together a course and then just sell it for like $29.99 or some shit. That's a great idea. Make money in my sleep rather than having to do this uh, live stream here. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, not going to do a Discord. Uh, yeah, no, you know how we do Yep, exactly. They end up with fucking a disease. It's happening to so many people behind the scenes. I've talked to vloggers privately and they'll tell me the real deal and stuff. 
Yeah, most guys are willing to go with working girls. Most guys would have not have resisted that gorgeous girl on the beach at 4 a.m. that was asking for nine American dollars. I'm a rare uh, case here. <laughs> people are addicted to the girlfriend experience. Remember, a lot of these dudes are super old or just have people that are... Yeah, a lot of them aren't even super old. They're super awkward and super unskilled with women and super rejects in the West. So they just super feel like it's easier to just pay. Or Philippines messaging them they are pregnant. Yeah, exactly. They're pregnant with a midget baby in your case. Just kidding, Typhoon. Uh, telling you I could make an AI to do your chat for you. Yeah, I'll just be sleeping and you guys will think it's me, but it's just me going, oh yeah, thank you, oh, thank you so much. Oh, sign all, guys. <laughs> oh man, 30 minutes in, guys. Goodbye, no, my gene. Do I have a... That's not funny, Timmy. You, you have to give them a bit of credit on getting on the plane and traveling those. No, I totally think it's good for guys to come here, even if you're a paying customer. I think that's good. It keeps the economy going. I'm not one of those people, but yeah, a lot of these guys are catching diseases. A lot of these guys are hiring girls. A lot of these guys don't bring it up to me in public, in my live chats or whatever, or that, you know, I, I know a lot of things I can't talk about. Um, but yeah, a lot of guys are catching diseases. A lot of guys, most guys hire women at one point or another. I always wear a condom no matter what a background girl is. Okay. Traveler Bay. I don't know who that is, but yeah. Um, but yeah, it just depends, man. Hit the like, guys. 43 people, 16 likes. I would have liked to have known you, but I was just a kid. Candle burned out long before. President-elect Corey just bought a membership. Salute my brother. Thank you. Unless somebody just gifted that, which I'm sure they didn't. I'm sure Prez probably bought one. Thank you, Prez. I appreciate you, your support. Oh, where's Kuya Storm? I haven't seen Kuya Storm today. I haven't seen Jordan Melby vlogs, even for a five-second check-in. haven't seen a lot of people. Salute to President Corey, becoming a top supporter. I'm surprised that even came up on my screen. It seems to be weird the way this uh, shit works when you don't have a secondary device. 48 people. President Corey, yes, sir. Yeah, apparently it fell off. Yeah, I was going to say, I noticed that you weren't a member anymore. A lot of people aren't members anymore, but uh, a lot of people are just waiting on that gifted membership probably. But I appreciate you, bro. When, when are you coming back anyway, Prez? June or something, did you say? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it sucks about Regina and Kuya Squid. I see he hasn't came in since then too much. But uh, we can find her another guy if she can come into the live. Plenty of eligible bachelors. Maybe Jester's journey. Oh, wait, I think Jester might be taken. <laughs> I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh, got you, got you. Them trips can get expensive, or not even so much expensive, just a lot of travel time and a lot of, uh, well, I guess expensive in your case since you toured all of Southeast Asia last time. Or no, shit, you even went to Asia proper, I think. I forget. Work got bent out of shape on those back... Oh, yeah, right? I bet, I bet. Yeah. Crazy shit. Crazy shit, guys. Damn, my foot's falling asleep here, guys. Candle burned out long before. I save up my leave and take a full month vacation. Okay, dark green. Jordan Melby not even coming in to flex his orange one-year star today. Joan might be lurking. Latest movies online. If you want a girl in PH, go for the province girl. They have black and faithful. Eh, I've, I've lived here for 18 months. Uh, everybody knows my opinion on that. Yeah, nothing like 90 days terminal, terminal when leaving too. My employer would never take more than two weeks off at a time. It will probably be later this year. I'm trying to get Anne here, though. I've been going through my friend groups to see if I can get any contacts in immigration. Got you. Got you, got you. I was going to say, I think you said that wrong, Typhoon. 46 people, nice. But all of my Homeland Security friends are in different departments. Got you, got you. It's all about who you know, right? I have no clue, but it's doable. It's not the sniffles anymore, so you could probably make that happen. Yeah, I guess that would be easier. 
I don't know, brother. I got up at a gear today and they told the ladies I was going to the Philippines and they were like, go to Vietnam, more beautiful ladies. I see only one boss in the building, Mr. President-elect Corey, outstanding dono. Yeah, salute, President-elect. I appreciate you becoming a member again. Adventures of Alexander in the building. Jasper, I just met a Filipina yesterday at the grocery store. She's watching your vids. No way. That's the second time. You said a girl in a jeepney was watching my vids too. Damn, the Filipina's still rocking with me. I still got 30%. Ho, ho to you, James, California. Okay. Contact Sharon for immigration help at the office. Her friends help me. Oh, maybe he's talking about Sharon Lapo Lapo. I haven't seen her in, here in a while. But yeah, I don't know. I think he means uh, Im American immigration, but correct me if I'm wrong. I have no clue what's going on here. All I know is my legs falling asleep. President Let Corey, I have a couple DHS buddies and some federal police guys. Salute to Legend of Alexander. Sponsor in the stream yesterday. Kuya Storm hasn't been in today. A lot of people missing today, but we got 47 people in the building. So yeah, do not marry a bar girl. Do not date a bar girl. You're not dating if you pay a woman for a date. That's not a date. That's a transaction. If you call for a second date, she'll tell you the rate for the second date. You're not dating. Not saying anyone's name, but I think you guys know the goofy vloggers that try to act like that's dating and they got a big budget for dating. Dating is free. <laughs> oh, so glad to leave DHS. Early days sucked. Corey, look up Jim Hacking Law. He is great and does free live show advice on immigration. Okay, got you. Look up Jennifer Terry. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why would you date a bar girl? I mean, that's her job. Exactly. You're not dating her. Stop trying to act like that's a date. A date is when you take a girl for a cup of coffee or she comes over to Netflix and chill or you go to Jollibee. It's not when you pay. Smash that like button, bros, and be thankful for the wisdom and knowledge we're about to receive. Salute to Todd Sellers. Thank you. Like here, Jasper. Good morning, all. Hey, Karen. Correct, Jasper. I need to set a day with her and her daughter to come over to try my cooking. Okay, okay. Yeah, sounds good. Sharon Lapu Lapu. She did a feature on me at one point. DW used to live in Vegas now in AZ. What's the month rent in BGC on average? Um, if you want like 400 square feet, you can still get it from like $550 to $800 depending on the building. If you want like a legit one bedroom, probably a thousand US dollars. If you want a two bedroom, maybe 1400 in like upscale buildings. Netflix and chill, movie runs four minutes, then pause every time, LOL. Her daughter is a foodie. Got you, got you. I don't know much about her daughter, but uh, Sharon has came in many times and she did a feature on me. All good. 52 people in the building, smash the like. No problem, DW. Yeah, it's a little expensive. You go to Makati, you're looking at say 350 to 500 for that same one bedroom. You're looking at a proper one bedroom with a door that's a bit bigger for 700 or so. Two bedroom, maybe starting at a thousand in Makati, the neighboring area. My one month at one Uptown BGC caught me, cost me $500. Yeah, that's where I lived when I first moved here. And it was $500, but I had to sign a long-term lease to get that. I don't know how you got that if you did Airbnb, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, one Uptown is a good landing spot. A lot of Corey stayed there, John Canella stayed there, Golf stayed there, everybody stays there. No balconies on most of the units, but you got a great view of the fire fountains. You got a little kind of infinity pool, like sort of uh, good gym, basketball court on like the 50th floor. It's all good. But yeah, it uh, depends on where you go. Depends on what deal you get, but it's cheaper than Vegas for sure. Just a bit. Jones Avenue in Vegas, my three bedroom by 2K. Yeah, yeah, you can get more square footage probably in Vegas to be honest, but uh, that's BGC. You don't have to live in BGC. You can live in Manila and Makati or whatever. You can live in Cebu, you know, it's tricky. You can get a high rise for cheaper, but it's gonna be small square footage. My high rises in Vegas would run me 2,000 bucks, but they'd be, you know, three times the size. I stayed there also like 10 seconds, <laughs> less than 300 USD per month. For my one. Yeah, but you're in Cebu, Lapu Lapu. If you go back 12 months and talk to yourself, what's five things to do and not to do, would you say? Um, man, 12 months ago, uh, man, that's a tough one. Uh, I probably would have got a girlfriend sooner. I... Man, that's hard to come up with five things. Yeah, I probably would have got a girlfriend a bit sooner. Uh, I probably should have traveled more before I got a girlfriend because it's harder to travel when you have a girlfriend unless your girlfriend wants to spend money or you're going to play sugar daddy and just pay for 100% of the trip. Um, I mean, I think I don't have a lot of regrets. I mean, my YouTube success was catastrophically huge in my eyes. Um, I, I wouldn't have collaborated with anyone. I think I pretty much have no regrets, but yeah, I probably would have got a girlfriend about eight or 10 months in, and I would have traveled to everywhere before I got the girlfriend. I probably would have launched the drone when you first bought it for me. Uh, 
a lot of things I don't want to say because people will watch this too. Easy to remember what I was stated and not come back to the U.S. Uh, uh, but you couldn't or what? Shout out Adventures, yes. Uh, the Adventures of Alexander, that's a tough one. Putting, yeah, that really is. That's tough, bro. It's hard for me to say. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I would have hit some neighboring countries too before I got a girlfriend. Once you get a girlfriend, your girlfriend has to have the money for the flights at least, even if you're going to kind of cover the trip or want to spend that money. And then, yeah, I should have got more traveling done. And uh, yeah, maybe I wouldn't have stayed single for a full year. But I wouldn't have done collaborations. I wouldn't, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I played it pretty damn good. But yeah, it's hard to come up with five. I'm on the spot here trying to read the chat and shit. Go Eva. What's up, Karen? What's up, President? One of the things you should have done is not take me up on that bet. Yeah, whatever, you gave me 100. And uh, then you wanted me to send a video of me and my girlfriend another 100, but I've still yet to do that. <laughs> no, I could have stayed there four years left until I hit the pension 20 year, but I don't really need it. Got you. All good, brother. I had quite a few girls contact me to be a sugar dad. Apparently they didn't think I know I'm a cheap fuck. Damn, that sucks. I thought you were being stalked and you're a hot stud. But yeah, I can't even come up with five things. Maybe I'll do a video about that. That might actually get some views. Every, those always versus videos or five things about Manila. Five things I would have done. Yeah, maybe I would have left earlier and had more money. Um, you know, yeah, I would have left the West earlier, but that wouldn't be within the last 12 months. I would have had more money. Uh, but I think I played it pretty good. You want to stay single for an ample amount of time. I should have done more traveling when I was single, but it's hard for me. I can't think of a lot of mistakes that I made, like, oh, I should have done this, or I would have collaborated with, you know, Old Dog and Geo. No, I think I played it pretty well. But yeah, I'm sure I could brainstorm after the live and come up with five things. Uh, had quite a few girls contact me to be sugared at it. Got you, got you. Oh, shit, I'm missing everything. Jester's Journey, shout out. We have to get the MOA crew back together. Yeah, 8.31 p.m. RA was gifted a membership by President like Corey. Trent was gifted a membership. Perrick. Perfect was gifted a membership. President-elect, Corey gave five memberships. Salute, Corey. Nice, thank you, brother. Nice membership gifts, President. President, the one and only sponsor of the stream. Dark Green Marine, make sure you're lining up your VA benefits. 8.31 RA was gifted a membership by Trent was gifted a member. Nice. Salute to President. It's all good. No need to announce it. Holy shit. I didn't know. I thought nobody was donating, but salute, brother. We will see, President. I miss Ann. Jack Jack, 100% is worth it. Almost 4K a month. Got you. Yeah, they still do that, but not so much anymore. Hello, could you add? I'm in San Fran paying 25 a month. I could have so much money in the Philippines with that much money. Yeah. Uh, I could have so much in the Philippines. Yes. 2,500, you're good. I've had $2,500 months recently, probably. I'm probably in between 25 and 35, but uh, it depends on if I go somewhere that month or, you know, how that works out. Joan to, hello, Joan. World War Three has started. Yeah, let's hope not, MF. Yeah, but I saw that uh, Israel thing. John C., is that John Canella? What's up? Uh, President-elect Corey, salute for the five, six memberships, really, because you bought yourself one and then you gifted five. Appreciate you, boss. Hello, Kuya Peter. Okay, John C's back. Got a membership. Appreciate your boss. I've been 100% since 2019, 2009. What do you mean, 100% uh, disabled? 42 people in the building, 20 likes. John C in the building, John Canella. We're going to do a call in. Might be at one of my other places uh, tomorrow or something, or maybe the next day. Not sure. But uh, yeah, we're going to do a call in with John C. Get his review of the Philippines, an unbiased review from, I think John's like 48 or something. Ba, ba, ba. Always interesting to see how it worked out for people. <clears throat> I know I said it was good, but we can have him elaborate if he doesn't mind calling in. Anyone here ever vote for here in the Philippines? So you're looking at six to seven K a month? Nice. No, you, you can do like three K. Uh, ba, ba, ba. 3X, how could you, how would you, um, income 3X, how would you improve your lifestyle over there improve? Uh, I'd get a nicer place in Boracay. I'd get a nicer place in Manila. I'd go to Nobu more often. I would travel anywhere, anytime, or maybe hit neighboring countries, but I'm living pretty damn good. Why, why WF, a blogger is live eating cornflakes right now and her mighty as viewers sad, crazy. When you're heading back to the States to empty that storage unit and sell it all soon, but I just paid like 16 months on it. But uh, yeah, probably, I mean, I got to exit at a certain point because of my three year mark. I'm like halfway there. Um, Next time I go to America, that unit's getting emptied. I'm going to spend some good time visiting with my dad as he's like 81 years old. Um, if I go, I got I to gotta kill all birds with one stone now that I'm pretty solid here. Where are you stationed? Shekel, what's up, brother? Filed my taxes and came out much easier and better than I thought. Yeah, same here. 
same, same. Shekel, yo, boss. Karen Ballad, uh, I don't even want to repeat that. Uh, President Corey, I was stationed at Camp Pendleton. Yeah, Camp Pendleton, nice. Uh, no Green Marine, I'll be pulling six, seven months with this retirement. Yeah, stack 4K and just live the life I live. Hey, Ed Wow, good buddy. Hey, Shekel, Karen, John C. Whoa, what are you doing? What up, Jasper and all the OGs, newbies, and chapmates? Yeah, chapmates, salute. Wow, it's fucking going crazy. Hey, I'm not Karen. Hey, John C. Shekel. Yes, Las Vegas has aggressive ladies of the evening. Yes, they do. Hello, Karen. Hello, Shekel. Yes, guys, wow. The chat's going fucking crazy. I thought it was dead, and then I just scrolled down on my phone, and there's like 97 messages. <laughs> um, got that Schwartzwear. Salute. It's moving so fast, you can only get, get it out one at a time. The man. Hello, Eva. Hello, John C. Everybody greeting each other. The myth. Nice, Dark Green Marine. My buddy was in Camp Pendleton when I was 32nd Street. That was back when we could go to Tijuana together. Smash the like button. Yeah. Hit the three dots at the bottom and hit the motherfucking like. For this live stream sponsored by President Corey. Salute. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't show me when people gift memberships, but it did show me when Corey bought one. Very odd, but hey, appreciate it. Hit the like even to haters. Yeah, hey, John Green. What's up, brother? You need to flip your phone. Let's chat screen when you stream like this. I don't even know what that means. Ba -ba -ba, John Green, Typhoon Timmy, got that sport, the man, the myth, the legend. You're too kind, sir. I'm just a little live streamer. Just created a little AOL chat room with a view. <laughs> Shekels back. President Corey, TJ used to be the spot. Peanuts and beer used to pop off. Okay, okay. Typhoon Timmy, bow suck. Ed Wow, Ed Wow needs to hit allow gifts. Looks like your membership's expired. You got a bunch of members only videos as of late. Bunch of public videos. Doing the lives every day, almost. Typhoon Timmy, Karen Ballad. Yeah, everybody needs to hit allow gifts just in case to people like Ed Wow and Karen. Yeah, I was on Fifth Avenue all the time. I would have been putting in my headphones. I think the sound's much better. A lot of people were complaining about the wind. But I managed to keep the phone straight while doing that. Hey, Kuya Hurt, what's cracking, boss? Just wondering where you were at. Kuya Hurt in the building. Coming to the Philly Willy soon. Another guy I did a consultation with, early 40s. Him and his brother are both coming here. Flip to landscape mode. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I would have liked to have known you. Who slurped up some of that dip? I'm not even sure what we're talking about. Who you hurt? Candle burned out long before. The legend of a No clue what we're talking about with that dip shit. Oh, I did not buy any of that dip. I, I haven't even checked where we're at this morning, uh, but hopefully we're back up. I just kept my bags. Typhoon Timmy, just pop in, just pop in the chat out, and then you can put it where you want and manipulate the size too. Yeah, there we go. The stuff that gets you high. What up, y'all? Who you hurt? 41 people in the building. 23 likes. Get the likes up, guys. We should have 43 likes. Come on, guys. This stream is officially sponsored by President Corey Elect, the new president of the United States after Biden. So yeah, do not marry a bar girl. Do not date a bar girl. You're not dating. I didn't. I just have my 3K in Soul and 5 ETH, 0.5 BTC. I'm done buying crypto. Yeah, I have like not that much crypto, but I have a decent little amount in case everything goes crazy. But yeah, I didn't buy any of that dip because that dip was related to the war and I don't know what happens next. And I got to be a little cautious. I bought a little bit yesterday instead of going to the casino, but uh, I did not buy too much. I just increased my positions on some of my coins. Uh, nothing illegal, only talking crypto. Joan, you fell asleep. Alex traveling, dating, never date a bar girl, cam girl, someone who does OnlyFans. Exactly right. Any SEX workers? Yeah, I think it's crashing soon. I got my gold mining stocks now. Okay, okay, okay. I mean to buy silver and gold. Okay, guys. Everybody letting us know what they do. So yeah, I take that back. I did take a little tiny bit. Uh, but only increased a couple little positions. Casino. Oh, uh, Legend donated $500 and said I should go to the casino. But I figured crypto is my gambling. And my girl was feeling sick, so we didn't go to the casino. So I, I bought a tiny bit. Mainly buy silver and gold. 
Got that sportswear casino. Ba -ba -ba. 50 minutes in. I would have liked to have known you, but I was just a kid. Candle burned out long before. If you live in the fills and have to rely on bar girls for booty, you need to rethink things. Yes, Jack, Jack, I agree. But a lot of guys like the easy way out. They don't want a whole lot of work in and social interaction. Hey, thanks, Kenrick Stewart. Appreciate it, man. I'm trying. It's hard to keep it going sometimes between telling stories and reading the chat, but we're doing what we can. We had a matcha today. Barely slept. I got like maybe four hours, but I wanted to get up and do this on time rather than try to do it at noon and everyone's asleep since basically all my audience is in the West. So they have good casinos, huh? Yeah, they have Resorts World. They have uh, City of Dreams. They have uh, uh, Okada. Stopped by the bingo hall and played slots. It's up a few hundred, but only walked out with about 40 USD. Congratulations. Booty cheaper than Phil's just saying. Yeah, a lot of the I was scammed by girl stories are dudes that tried to wipe up a bar girl. Facts. Bar girls are no fly zone with me personally. Facts. Yeah, don't, don't get with a bar girl, guys. It's a waste of time and money. You're just a customer. My guys, I don't care if you're 20 years old, you're a fucking customer. Those girls probably don't even like foreigners. They're just suffering through. And they're good at hustling. I got a lead on a remote job today. I'll have to let you know if it pans out. If I decide to go that route, I could be living permanently in the Philippines by the end of the year. Good. Stick to the small casinos. Okay, bar women anywhere you go are dangerous. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. You'd be surprised how many bar girls have regular jobs. Yeah, that's true. They work the bar, the... They work as like a dental assistant during the day and then they work the bar at night. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, crypto is gambling, guys. You never really know. If you have to ask a Filipino their body count, you're probably dating the wrong Filipina. Yeah, and she'll probably lie too. So don't even bother. Guys will increase their body count to try to sound like a Chad. Girls will slice the number in half usually. Alex travel and dating in the building. Which is more dangerous, freelancer or bar girl? Well, a lot of bar girls are gonna be freelancers when they walk out of the bar and you can get them for a lower rate. And the ugly ones cost as much as the pretty ones. Absolutely, sometimes the ugly ones are good hustlers. I've known girls that were like sixes that would make 3,000 US dollars a night at the Spearmint Rhino jumping up and down on guys' laps because they're just hustlers. They'll sell you on the fact that they're supposedly gonna to come to your hotel room or whatever. Uh, standard girl answer is four dudes, yeah. I can count on both hands, under 10. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's kind of obvious to me if a girl's got a high body count or a low body count and asking them, they're never going to tell you the truth, to be honest. Jester Journey, freelance. Yeah, freelance probably. But either way, working is working. Don't, don't trick yourself into thinking you're a hot stud Chad when you're paying for a young lady's company. I don't care how old you are, if you're fit, whatever. Your wallet first. I know a lot of girls that are working girls or strippers or whatever. 52 watching, huge celebrity in the building. Finally made it, guys. Santa all. Most of those girls are soulless in the bedroom also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a girl that's being paid for something is gonna half-ass her performance and be like, let me get this over with. A girl that thinks that you're hot is gonna go all in facts nothing but an ATM that's correct I don't give a fuck if you're fucking six-pack abs and this and that bro you're a customer 53 people in the building smash the fucking like the girl's willing to hop in bed with you on the first date her body count is higher than yours um I don't know about that because I got a pretty high body count but uh her body count's probably higher than she says it is right <laughs> and it also depends on how long were you talking to her before you met her how charming and handsome are you really, like realistically? Your value in the West will give you a good barometer on where you stand. You'll just be a couple points higher here. Just remember in the Vegas, you need a wad of $1 bills. It's 55 pesos to a dollar. Yeah, the fuck LOL this topic, bro. Hey, Kuya, hmm. Too bad it didn't work out with you and your uh, lovely lady of five minutes. I understand no marriage, but what about if a man wants children? Does a Philippine girl open to being a permanent girlfriend? Um, she's open to being a wife, that's for sure. <laughs> The fuck, lol, this topic. You don't like it, Kuya? Ba -ba -ba, 54 people in the building, Sana Oil. What funny is Australia was the best place I have ever been for easy hookups. Nice, never been there. Never been there. A lot of Australian guys over here, though, that's for sure. 
Lots of gaslighting here. Check yourself, guys, when they start complimenting. Yeah, so many girls told me I look 20 plus. So many girls, you know, listen, I know I don't look 20 plus, but I appreciate that. It was more to chew on my end than I wanted. Got you, got you. Good enough. Lots of gaslighting here. Yeah, wish her well. All good, brother. All good. Holy shit, I'm getting a shitload of notifications on my phone right now. I would have liked to have known you, but I was just queer. Mm. Our first failed romance. Oh, no, we had uh, Ermina and uh, Orca was a failed romance as well. Kenrick, I've never had a Filipina have an issue with long-term dating. Yeah, gaslighting is what Jordan needs. Yeah, where the hell's Jordy boy? We got 54 people in the building. No Jordy boy. Must be, Gushers must be on sale. Candle burned out long before. The legend of a dude. Is there a minimum drinking age? Yep, 18. You can drink at 18. It doesn't have to be 21. Gushers on sale, you dig? <laughs> the hell's Jordy boy? Unless he's lurking. Shit, we got Joan, we got Eva, we got Typhoon, Jesters. Oh, Jordan, you look 150 pounds. Jordan looks 150 kilos, not pounds. 150 kilos, what is that, 330 pounds? Jordan told me he's flying out next week and he'll record pulling up on you. Huh. Good luck. Good luck with that. I'll confiscate that footage. If I'm going to put out footage with my face, that would be on my channel to get the 10,000 views. If Jordan was to pull up on my recording, I would literally take his telephone out of his hand and delete the recording and say, it's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> literally. <laughs> and for anyone. <laughs> 18, but so many younger ones here drink. Yes, he said kilos. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Literally, that's what I would do if Jordan pulled up on me and tried to get the exclusive on doing a face reveal in 2024 on me. I would literally just remove his telephone from his hand, delete the photograph. If he's rich enough to have an iPhone, I'd go to recently deleted and delete that. And yeah, when I do that, that'll be for my channel and that'll be a guaranteed 10,000 view video. <laughs> I need the AdSense, not Jordy Boy. <laughs> I'm not going to be give his chance a channel to come back from the dead with an actual YouTuber. <laughs> yes, do not do that. Jordan is watching. He will jump in soon. Yeah, right. Exactly. But yeah, that literally is what I would do. No joke. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I get the idea of wanting to get your channel off life support. If he doesn't do that, he'll literally get 420 views over the course of nine months on his video. That'd be the, one of the only ways to bring that channel off of life support would be to get an actual YouTuber that has traction to do a face reveal exclusively for your channel. Why in the world would I want to gift that to Jordan? 27 and up for me, respectfully, I agree. Nice. Not a bad idea. 50 people in the building, 26 likes. What cities would you recommend for men who want to come to the Philippines to live based on reasonable cost for bills, infrastructure, quality of women, etc.? Just Cebu or Manila. You could try Ilo Ilo, but Cebu and Manila. Cebu's a bit cheaper. Women are a bit friendlier. Manila was my choice. You can find some deals. Uh, I don't, yeah, that's pretty much it. Are Filipinas big smokers? Cigarettes, not weed? No, not really. Cebu or Davao? Uh, I've never been to Davao, so I can't speak with authority on Davao. Everybody chooses Cebu, to be honest. Davao can be a bit boring from what I've heard from uh, certain people. Interesting question. Jordan has a nasty self-infection. He's recovering from sitting on, not washing properly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Manila is super nice. I'm checking out Cebu a couple weeks. Yeah, I would prefer Manila. I've been to Cebu many times. If you're old, go Bohol. Yeah, a Bohol, absolutely. But that's not a city. That's a, that's a province. Mainly men smoke cigs, not so much women. Yeah, a lot of men smoke cigs. Women don't. 47 people. We probably got 2,000 views in the last 58 minutes. Nice. Most don't smoke unless you supply the smokes. Bohol is a tiny island, right? No, Bohol's kind of big. It's like way bigger than Barakai. Barakai is a fucking tiny island. Uh, but no, Bohol's big, man. Bohol's awesome. Chester's Journey, Bohol's a tiny island, right? Ba ba ba. Devout boring, bro. All you do is live stream and drink matcha. Um, I travel all around. I'm sure I've been more places than you. Uh, yeah, no, I move around. I don't always have the camera on. I've been to tons of places. All I do is live stream and drink matcha. I go live for like maybe an hour a day and then I do a lot off camera. When is Palo on? I'm not sure, soon. Um, yeah, I, uh, 
I don't know. I don't think my girl wants to pay 14000 for a round trip ticket to go to the actual El Nido. So it's a tricky predicament I'm in with that. But yeah, no, all I do is live stream and drink matcha. You follow me around with a fucking video camera, bitch. Why would you know what I do? I have a life off camera. I don't really share much anymore. And um, it was a joke, geez. What, what, what part of that was a joke? All you do is live stream and drink matcha. Huh, I don't know. I don't see the joke in that. Asian woman is a blessing for men from the West. Okay, take a boat. Is that cheaper? I'll look into that. I'll definitely look into that. But yeah, the van ride that's eight hours each way has horrendous fucking reviews. And uh, the only way to do it right is to fly into El Nido. So that'd be about 30000 in airfare. And uh, my girl just did a bunch of investments that I won't speak on. So she's a little bit gun shy to pay the 14000 for her ticket because uh, I'm already like pitching it. But yeah, maybe I'll look into the boat. I know it's way cheaper to go to Chargal with that. Had to convey sarcasm through text. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I fuck shit up with text. I'll be like texting with a girl and she'll be like, what the fuck? But yeah, no, man. I've been to Chargao, been to Bohol, live in Barakai, Cebu, all over Manila, even to the trenches. Um, many, many, many places. A lot of stuff's not on camera. But, uh, and yeah, should I, this is my first matcha in like a week, but yeah. Um, those vans are trash. My homegirl sister. Yeah, I don't want to be in a van for 15 hours and I want to take the direct one, but I don't really, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, the channel's been a little slow lately with the exception of people like Legend throwing their support behind it and Todd and Jester and everybody. Uh, running Jenny past relations while with your girl? No, never, luckily. Eight hours each way, fuck that. That's what I'm saying. So I want to take the direct flight, but it's like going to Chargao or something. And uh, I was at least trying to get my girl to spring just for her plane ticket, but I don't like to go into the personal details of our lives. My girl just forked out like 100,000 pesos for something. So she's a little bit reluctant to do so today. So we're, I'm trying to figure out how to make this make sense. <laughs> she was miserable. Uh, take a fast cat if available. Yeah, I'll look into it. Flights are cheap, like a 15 hour van ride. Sounds like hell, yes. Best route, take a flight to Puerto Princesa. Spend some time there. Take a boat to Corone. Spend a few days there. Then take a boat to El Nido. Okay, I'll try that, Prez. Yeah, because I was just trying to fly directly in and cut out all the bullshit because she's already been to Puerto Princesa and doesn't really care about that. But yeah, okay, maybe I'll do the two boats. But yeah, I don't want to take that dumb van and I would skip Puerto Princesa altogether. But I don't really want to pay for her uh, like a 15,000 peso airfare, be brutally honest. But yeah, I agree the flight is available. Yeah, that's what I want to do. But I don't want to pay for her flight, just to be dead ass honest. <laughs> I don't mind even probably picking up the hotel, but I'm not looking to do a full all expenses paid 100,000. I, I don't know. My channel's not really that hot right now, to be brutally honest. <laughs> but I can go somewhere and launch the drone or maybe she'll uh, you know, decide to do that. Or maybe I'll take the two boats, yeah. All good. Fifty-four people in the building. Take a bus down to Pentagas Pier. Catch a ferry across the bus is like five dollars ferry price. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look into other things because yeah, I know that's how like Anna went to Chargao and stuff. Yeah, I need to look into alternate options uh, unless I want to drop thirty thousand on airfare uh, if I wanted to book it today because I'm getting constant pressure from people to go to to Palawan, but uh, I don't know if I can just say, hey, I'm going to Palawan, you know, I, I, I don't know. It, it, that's why I said I should have traveled before I got a girlfriend. It's a bit tricky. Uh, ba -ba. How well would a non-white Western man do with the Filipinas? Uh, I don't know. Where are you from? Indian or something? I did all expense trip to Myrtle Beach with girlfriend in the States. Ungrateful on the trip home. Yeah, I've taken girls to like little tiny trips like Catalina Island and shit like that, but that was fine. But yeah, um, 60 people in the building, smash the like. But yeah, that's my only uh, thing. And then, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just have to see, but yeah, I wanna go to El Nido. I wanna go to the real Palawan. I don't wanna go to Puerto Princesa. I don't wanna go, I wanna go to El Nido. I think that's the considered the hotspot. I don't know, it's so spread out. And yeah, if I do that, I think that would be my last last spot because I'm just a Barakai guy but uh yeah I gotta see Palawan right I gotta launch the drone I gotta do it but uh you know uh 
It, it's tough, guys, because I'm not allowed to share every detail of my life anymore because of the fact that I got some traction on YouTube. Uh, Roger, in, like anywhere else, it depends on you, not the girls. Correct. Exactly. I don't know where you're from. I don't know if you're fat. I don't know if you're socially awkward. I don't know if you're a Giga Chad like Dark Green Marine. I don't know. But yeah. Exactly. Are you socially awkward? Are you heavy? Are you a coxman? Amazing? Giga Chad? I mean, it doesn't really matter what color you are. Are you confident with women? Can you make eye contact? Are you tall? Have you been with a lot of ladies? What do you think about single moms in the Philippines? I think a lot of guys end up dating single moms because most girls are single moms, realistically. I've never met a Filipino that had much nice to say about an Indian. Dots, not feathers. Everyone has preferences. Indian men seem to do fine in the pH. No problem, especially if they take them out of the Philippines. A buddy of mine did it online. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm getting a little hot up here. We got a ton of people. I've seen fat guys with women because they can make them laugh. Yeah, it just depends, man. A lot of guys just have that certain it factor. A lot of guys don't. If you share too much, you get hammered by the trolls and haters drama. That's why I share nothing. That's why I don't talk about my girlfriend or show her or tell you guys the moves that we're making. I just, unfortunately, I can't give you everything now because I got too big to do that. So I just leave it alone. Yeah, I'm not, not sure. <laughs> you have what makes you who you are. There we go. Exactly. But yeah, despite the large viewer count, this is pretty damn dead. So I might uh, go ahead and wrap her up. Yeah, exactly, Koyahum. Definitely be careful of the child's father. That's a 1,000%. Be aware. Is he a foreigner? Is he a Filipino? Is he trying to get her back? Do they have joint property or joint, a joint, uh, you know, dog? Or is he still trying to sleep with her? All that good stuff. Got to be careful. Yes, sir. Salute to President Corey for sponsoring the stream. Sana all.